And shaken, not stirred, as the world gets ready for the new Bond film to finally hit the cinemas, why 007 fans have flocked to this Sussex. <laughs> oh, those heights, yeah. Really great for Gary. Look at those Brilliant. pictures, absolutely well. Good Italian as well, Lewis. Well, I don't know if it's right, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a bit of a change. I can notice, As yeah. you can see, because we are channeling Bond, of course, James Bond, because it's one of the highest grossing and most popular media franchises of all time. And now, after multiple delays, Bond is back. So excited. No Time to Die will be actor Daniel Craig's last appearance as 007. With still no confirmation as who may take over the iconic role, though, Well, Ed. they've got my agent's number. <laughs> so, uh, Daniel, if you're watching and you want to give me some tips, give me a ring. No, I'm joking. In all seriousness, ahead, of course, of uh, the new Bond film, fans have been flocking to Amberley Museum in West Sussex, where scenes, if you remember, from a previous film, A View to Kill, of course, mm. were filmed. And our very own money penny, Sam Fraser, joined in. I'm at Amberley Museum, where I've joined James Bond fans from across the country to celebrate Roger Moore's swan song. Cue Duran Duran. They had a storyboard, which was pretty loose, but they needed a railway in it with wagons that people could get into, and it needed to be small, not a big standard gauge railway. And there are very few places with that facility, so it was very lucky that it just, we just happened to fit the bill. Meeting you with a view to wake you. I've come from Manchester this morning, just near Manchester Airport, and we set off at six o'clock to be here for this special day. We came yeah. as the miners and like and, and working like for Zorin Industries. Yeah, the stagey one. Um, <laughs> so we got the <laughs> we made these all wings, eh? <laughs> and the hats, basically uh, the whole yeah. outfit, made the whole and outfit attire. I had the opportunity of working in two James Bond films. Diamonds are forever. Get your hands up. And on Her Majesty's Secret <laughs> Service with George Lazenby. As a stunt man. Uh, did you survive your experiences intact, or were there any bumps and bruises on the way? I'm an ex-army heavyweight champion boxer, so getting the opportunities to work in films, do fight sequences, just came automatically. So I never got hurt. Good to hear. So am I. <laughs> we met George Lazenby a couple of years ago at a com Comic Con, and um, he actually said, move out of the way, I want to take your wife out for dinner. That was, uh, Honestly, I couldn't believe it being asked out by a real James Bond. I mean, I've got my real, own Bond at home, but being but, but asked the real out James Bond, yeah. <laughs> by an actual Bond was quite amazing. Yeah, <laughs> he nearly cool. had me. Nearly. It was very close. <laughs> we all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. This week, a big week for James Bond fans. No Time to Die is uh, finally released. What are your expectations? I'm looking forward to a really good film. Three hours, it's going to be a long film, and it's Craig's swan song, so this is going to be the end. But I think it's right to, not to stream it, but to show it in the cinema. I mean, you've got to see Bond on a big screen in the cinema. Excitement's building for the opening on Thursday. Good luck, Daniel. And yeah, it's shaken, not stirred. I cannot wait. I'm very excited. Alexis is here with us now. Um, who's your favourite Bond? It has to be Daniel Craig, but I'll tell you what, my favourite thing was when he was at the 2012 Olympics yes. with the Queen. Yes. I loved it. He actually said today that that was more scary than filming Bond itself. Oh, really? I know. Wow. I'll tell you what is scary was uh, last night when autumn arrived. Yes. 